What's up guys? I'm BTC. Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. I'm here on the Pooping Evolved server. We got a bit of a crisis right now. I'm gonna get to that in just a second. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, please hit that like button. And I want to thank you guys for all the support that you've given me on the previous videos, the likes, the comments. I really appreciate all of it. Now, as for the crisis at hand, well, one of the problems with Ark Survival is the collision in the game. So when dinos are on top of, like, the ceiling pieces or the foundation, like, it, stuff likes to fall through buildings. So <laughs> that's one of the reasons why whenever you make an egg farm, you want to try to have all the eggs drop onto the ground, like where all this poop is right here. Uh, because if they drop onto, like, the foundations and stuff, they kind of fall through. Or they'll fall through ceilings and all that sort of stuff. And, and sometimes dinos, well, they, they sink through the floor as well. And this Carno has sunk through the floor. Now, I had to remove a couple of pieces here. It does... Oh, God. Oh, oh, okay. All right, so it is letting me... It is letting me at least ride it now. It wasn't letting me do anything with it. Like, at, at first, I could open the inventory, but I couldn't ride it. And then it, like, moved around a little bit, and then I could change the name, but I couldn't even access the inventory anymore. Uh, and finally, I had to remove the pieces. Now, hopefully, I can grab it right here. And... Okay, good. Whew! All right. Uh, before I removed the ceiling pieces there, I couldn't even grab it with the Quetzal. Like, it just it wouldn't let me... Like, that Karno was stuck. So, a uh, general, general idea, uh, a good idea is to not leave dinos on top of, like, ceiling pieces and foundations and stuff. You should generally leave them on, like, just regular ground so that way they don't fall through. Now, unfortunately, when I destroyed this... It ended up destroying all the ramp pieces, too, because they were connected to this, but that's all right. I can go and fix that later. That's no big deal. Now, what I wanted to do today, though, is I went and made a, a whole bunch of the greenhouse pieces. So I'm going to grab this here, and I want to work a little bit on the farm that I'm going to put up here. So I have actually done a little bit of work. Hey, it's raining. Oh, hey, the rain works now. The last... The last patch, the rain was invisible again. Like, that happens every now and again. The rain's invisible. So, I ran some water pipe up to here. And I actually got a cool little system of getting... Like, see? Look at how the water pipe is. See how it's slightly above the floor? There's actually a really cool trick that I did in order to get that to happen. So, I'll probably make another quick little tutorial video and show you how I did that. But... Uh, uh, that worked really, really well, actually. Let me see. I think I have an opening over here. Yeah, I do. Okay. So let me show you where the water's coming through. So I got the water going all the way down over to there, and I took out the other one. So this goes all the way down into the, uh, into the uh, what do you call it, ocean right there. Oh, hey, the rock reformed. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, the pipe's going right through the rock now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I actually had to destroy that rock in order to put the pipe in, but I guess it just, like, boop, repaired. So I got the water pipe going up there, and then it's going to come up into here, and it is slightly above the floor. And I do have a couple of the, a couple of the farm pieces down already, but I realized that after I had placed this, I was like, wait a minute. I need four of them for the veggies. Ah, well. All right, so the plan is I can either extend it out over there, which I don't really know if I want to do or not, or I can just extend it this way. And I think I'm probably just going to extend it this way. So let's let's start getting let's start getting these uh, the crop plots in, okay? So we're going to put this one. Let's try to get it nice and nice and lined up here. So is that lined up? That looks kind of lined up, right? So right about right about there. Is that good? Is that good? I think that's good. Yeah, we'll close it off. Oop. So there's one, two, three, and four. Okay. 
So these are going to be the veggies right here. So one, two, three, four are going to be the veggies. And then I have an extra two right here that I can use for like uh, probably the, the narco berries is what I'm probably going to end up using them for. I wonder if I should actually extend it a little bit more. I kind of don't like having this corner one right here. Hmm. You know what? I've got another one, so I might as well just drop it down. Whatever. I don't care. It's not a big deal. So let's just throw this right here. Oh, you know what? The more I, ex I just realized something. The more I extend this, oh man, the more I extend this, the more greenhouse I'm gonna have to build. Ooh, yeah, that's that's a lot. Okay, hold on. Let me let me see something here. So how far is it gonna have to be right here? So I could actually put it to right there, and then this greenhouse would go to like right there. How far over is this? I kind of, I think like putting it right there is fine. Yeah, because that'll line up with that, with that wall right there. All right, we'll, we'll throw down another one. I'll throw down another one right there. Right about, right about, right about there. That's good enough. And I'll leave this here for right now. Maybe I'll end up taking it out later. But All right, so uh, I need to extend the pipe for this here. So let's get rid of this. And... This is going to kind of be a little tricky because I don't know if this is actually going to work. So I need to I need to kind of uh, experiment a little bit here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the greenhouse glass like one down. Like maybe I should put it one down. Should I put it one down? Or maybe I should just remove this top part. I think I should just remove this top part. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just do that. All right, so I'm going to put, uh, wait, what's that? Oh, that's the pipe. All right, so let's put that right there, and then let's put this right there, and that should, there you go. Okay, good. So the, all of those are irrigated now, and, oh, is it getting foggy? I think it's getting foggy. All right, so let's get rid of this, and now I've got the greenhouse glass. I can put it right here. Oh, man, this is going to be... Oh, this is going to be such a pain. Oh, wait, you can't... Oh, you can turn them around. Oh, no, which one is the right way, though? I can't... I don't know which way is the right way. Oh, man. Oh, no. Like, you see it, move it moving ever so slightly? Like, which way is the right way? Let me try going over here, and I'll be able to tell which way is the right way. Oh, jeez. I don't... I don't know. It's like, it's it's so subtle. Like, I can't tell which one's the right way. Oh, it's getting all foggy. All right, hold on. All right, fog is finally gone. I decided to tear down the thatch walls that were over here. So you'll notice that this section of the thatch wall is a little bit lower than what the greenhouse glass is. And that's not because the greenhouse glass is just taller. It's because of the way that I built the second floor. Now, the reason why I decided to take down the thatch is because I want to make sure that the greenhouse effect, like, completely works. So, you'll notice, like, right now I have the housing effect. But if I come over here, like, like, where is it? Like, right around here somewhere? Okay, so I just lost the housing effect. And then, I don't know if I'm going to get it again right here. I might have to go closer to the door again. So... There it is. So the way the game handles it, like there has to be certain criteria in order to get the housing effect. And I'm betting that the greenhouse effect functions very much in a similar way. So that's why I wanted to make sure that it was just, you know, flat and regularly placed instead of having this kind of weird thing. Because I could have just like placed it on top right there and had a height in that room that would have been perfectly acceptable. But... You know, again, would the game actually count it as a greenhouse? I don't know. And I really don't want to mess around. So, like, I could always just see how I can, like, I could just replace. Like, I can replace that and add the, the greenhouse glass right there if I wanted to. But, again, I don't know if the game is going to be like, nope, that's, that's technically not a greenhouse because it's not, like, on the appropriate level. And then, you know, I don't have any of the greenhouse effect and I end up losing, you know, like, tons and tons of crystal and metal making all these glass uh, walls and stuff like that. So I'm actually going to place this right here. 
And I gotta make sure that these are, like, lining up. Alright, there we go. And where do I want to put the door? I do have a door, but I'm not sure where I want to put it. Uh, I should probably put it, like, should probably put it, like, right here, maybe? Or maybe I could put it right here. No, I want to put, like, storage, like, right here for, like, all of the, uh, all of the fertilizer and the, the berries and uh, the seeds and all that stuff. So maybe I should put the door right here. I think right here would work. Let's just put it right there. And then we'll put the door in. And then put... Oh, God. It's like it's bouncing around. It's like shifting on me. Ah, I see it. I see it shifting. It's like... Is it... Oh, see, these things are, like, expensive. Like, it requires so much crystal to make these. I just... I'm actually, I got really lucky. Like, it didn't, it didn't misplace it at all, which is really, really good. So, do I have any greenhouse effect? No. So, I must have to put the roof on. So, I kind of want to put, like, the, uh, what do you call it? The, the sloped roof up here? I don't want to make it flat. The flat roofs are kind of boring. I, I always do the flat roofs, so. Let's see, I've got one, two, three. So, I can put a slope there, I can put a slope there. And then I could put a flat one in the middle. That would work. Okay, that that that's gonna work. Uh, but I think I still need to put at least. You know, I I probably should make it go up higher though, shouldn't I? Should I make it go up higher? Like, should it be too high? Yeah, I think I should make it a height of two. Yeah, if I'm gonna put the storage in here, then I need to have it a height of two. So let's let's just start placing this stuff here. And we'll put that there. Just gonna put all of these all the way around. And I'm not gonna have enough, unfortunately. I still need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more of the of the uh, what do you call it? The just the regular walls. So I need eight more walls. And then I need some of the little angle pieces, and then I need the slopes and stuff. And this stuff is kind of expensive, man. Look at that. Uh, the metal is no big deal, but the crystal is is where it, it gets you. It's like it costs a lot of crystal, a lot of crystal. All right, I gotta go grab some crystal. If I'm gonna finish out that greenhouse, I'm gonna need a lot more. So I'm over here at this mountain. This is just north of the green tower. This has a whole bunch of the little crystal deposits. You don't really get a whole lot of crystal from each one, but there's a lot of them. So you can still get a couple hundred crystal here. Uh, the other really good place is inside the volcano. There's not too many deposits there, but each one gives you quite a bit. And of course, you know, there's a bunch of other places, but uh, these two seem to be kind of easy. So I just, you know, come up here, grab a bunch, go to the volcano, grab a bunch, and then head back to the base. All right, there are a couple of, couple of cats around here though. Uh, I don't know if I can actually kill these. <laughs> <laughs> because, uh, well, my Quetzal is really, really weak. So, <laughs> you know what? I think I might end up doing... Look at that. I've already lost, like, just a couple of attacks. I already lost, like, 20% of my stamp. So I think I'm just gonna, like, drop them. <laughs> we'll just go grab the other one and just drop it off the cliff. Because my Quetzal is just not strong enough to eat kill these things so where's the other one there wasn't oh there it is right there i couldn't even see it did I, did I get it i got it okay so let's just uh yeah let's let's just oh hold on we gotta go down further down the cliff and look at that i'm already at half half okay Boop. and then there's a third one right here oh there's another one too oh man all right Boop. get rid of that one the knockback from the quetzal makes it a little difficult to kill stuff. And because this Quetzal has such low melee damage, like super, super low melee damage, what's it at? Yeah, it's at 152. It would take forever to kill this stuff, so I'm not even gonna bother. We'll just come up here and start collecting the crystal. Like I said, there's a lot of deposits, but each one doesn't really give you that much. Uh, the only thing I've been buffing on the Quetzal here 
is let me throw this stuff in here and get rid of that the only thing i've been buffing is the uh, movement speed because it is such a low level quetzal i was like you know what i'm just gonna buff movement speed that's it i'll use it to kind of like yeah, capture different dinos that i'm gonna bring back to tame or if i need to kind of go from one place to another kind of quickly oh oh what the heck is a what is what are you doing up how is that dino up here what are you I thought, I was like, what the heck is that? Why is that here? Doesn't make any sense. I don't know why there would be a packy up here, but apparently there is. Uh, there was a couple of scorpions too that I already took care of, but all right. So, oh, oh, uh oh. Okay, there we go. A lot of metal here. Oh man. All right, hold on. Let's see here. So how much am I going to get for each one? So I get like six crystal for each one. Yeah. So you don't really get much. Let's let that reset. Seven. And then this has got... Oh. They got like ten out of that one. And twelve. Yeah, you don't really get much. So each one gives you just a little bit. But there's a lot of them. So I can gather quite a bit. I'm just I'm just worried that there's gonna be like another cat or something around here. I gotta <laughs> keep an eye out. Make sure that the, make sure the cat doesn't come back. The cat came back the very next day. It was an old song, old cartoon that I used to watch. So on like Nickelodeon. That was like forever ago. Forever ago. Alright, let's see. What do we got here? How much? See, look at that. I've got uh, 211, 211 crystal right now. So not too bad. Uh, I'm going to gather up the rest of this and then head back to the base. All right. Made a bunch more of the greenhouse pieces. Uh, let's see how this looks. So let's put this right here. I got some more of that. And we'll throw these right. Actually, hold on. So... Uh, we'll have to figure that out in a second. All right. Let's see here. So I got more of the wall pieces. Bam, bam, bam. Right there. And there we go. I made two more because I actually need one, like, right here. And I also need one right here. So I'm going to put that one there and that one there. Because there's going to be, like, angled pieces up on the top there. And let's see. So now I've got these. So i got to figure out which one is the correct one so like this or this okay so it's 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 got to be this one it's got to be this one so let's put that wait am i doing this oh i almost did that wrong <laughs> i almost put it i almost put it in the wrong spot okay so let's put that one right there is that is that the correct side it should be it should be right yeah okay that, that looks that looks right all right and then this one goes right there and then the other side goes nope uh-oh did I mess this up? I mean, I know that they're, like, facing the right way, but... Is it, like, properly... I guess it's it's kind of hard to tell. I think... You know what? I think these walls are unlike other walls. Like, if you noticed, like, other walls... Okay, so Thatch, for example. Like, it has a definite, you know, inside. It has a definite inside because you got, like, the, the pieces of lumber and stuff. And then the other one, you know, it's it has a definite outside. But it appears that the greenhouse glass is, like, almost identical on on the inside and the outside. Like, there's no there's no real inside or outside. So it, it all looks the same. I, I think so, anyways. That's, that's what it looks like to me. All right, so now I need to put... Uh, we got to put uh, this right there actually let's put it over on this side because i'm gonna see if i can go ahead and get the greenhouse effect so right now it has a zero percent greenhouse effect let's put it right there and still zero okay <laughs> uh let's let's put this one here and that one there and that one there and that one there still zero <laughs> all right still zero Still zero all the way around. Still zero. Okay, let's put up the rest. Oh, oh no. Oh, I need more. Okay, so I need one, two, three, four of the sloped. And then I need 
Uh, probably what five? I think that's how it is. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So four sloped, five of the uh, regular ceiling pieces. So I actually have to learn that. So let me uh, greenhouse. Yeah. See, I never actually learned the greenhouse one. So let's grab that. And oh, wait. You can make a window. Wait a minute. You can make a. You can make a window. But what do you put it in? Like I don't see any. I don't see any green I don't see any greenhouse window. Maybe you can put it in inside other things. I don't know. Like yeah, maybe you can hold on. Let, let me look that 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 that's kind of interesting here. Hold on, hold on. Let's go all the way down to the greenhouse stuff here. Is there actually like a greenhouse window? No, there isn't. There isn't. So there is no like wall that has the window thing in it. So it looks like you just, you're supposed to put the greenhouse glass as a replacement for like the metal window or the stone one or whatever, uh, because like it allows you to see out. It's actually a window, whereas the stone one, the wood one, uh, and the metal one are all, you know, com completely blocked and you can't see. So you can put the greenhouse one in and you can actually see outside without having to open the window. So that's kind of neat. All right, so let me go grab the rest of the materials for this. Okay, should have all of the materials that I need. Let's finish this up. So we're gonna put this one right there, and that one right there, and that one right there, and that one right there. Okay, so that is all of the sloped ones. Now let's get the regular ones in here. Before I do that, though, I do want to see, is there any, oh, oh, look at that, right there. Greenhouse effect, 300%. So that is probably because it's <laughs> underneath this. Like, I don't think the walls, the walls might not even be needed, actually. Maybe they are, maybe they're not. But see, that one's got a 0%. That one's got 0, 0, 0, 0, and 0. Uh, this is the only one that's completely underneath a ceiling piece here, so I get the feeling that maybe only the ceiling matters. All right, so let's put that one there, and that's still a zero percent. And now it's still zero. That's zero, 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 zero. Okay. How about? Uh, ooh, that's not. Let's, uh, let's. Don't accidentally place it. All right. How about now? Three hundred. Three hundred percent. Okay. Three hundred percent. And what's this one? Zero, zero, and zero. So let's put this one right here. And yeah, still zero. And then bam. All right. This should, or maybe it just takes a little while. Boop. It's probably on like a uh, a delay, kind of like a, a, a uh, kind of like a, a a tick system where like it checks like every five seconds or every 10 seconds or something like that. That's probably how it works. So we got 300% on all of those. They are all irrigated. Let's go grab some of the seeds here. Well, actually before that, let me go grab some fertilizer because I've got a ton of fertilizer in here. All right, hold on. All right, so I've got uh, just the oil in there. That's right, and I've got, look at all that. So I'm just gonna grab all of that. And why was this not converting the poop? Maybe just because I wasn't in the area. So what's the, get that up to 9.7. And that's up to 11, 12.2. And let's take all of that. That is a lot of fertilizer. That is a lot, a lot of fertilizer. Okay, so let's throw the oil in there. Dude, look at all that. That is a ton of fertilizer. And I still have two more beetles that have lots of fertilizer on them. So that uh, that goes really, really, ooh, thanks. It goes really, really well. Let me just grab these. Uh, I do still want to try to tame up a Pariser pretty soon. I've actually gotten a bunch of Terra Bird eggs, but... I don't think they're useful for anything yet. I don't, I don't think they can be used in anything. All right, let's see here. So let's get rid of that. And 
I need to get... I need to get uh, the seeds, right? So, where are they? Uh, let's grab... Oh, I only have three narco berry seeds? Yeah, that's fine. It's I, I only need two anyway, so... Actually, you know, let's grab all, grab all the seeds here. Just gonna grab all the seeds, and I'll put them in the little storage thing over there. And I think that's that's all of it, right? I don't need the mushrooms right now. Okay, that should be everything. Let me grab a little bit more lumber here. And I'm gonna make wood, storage. Uh, what's that, a bookshelf? Let's make one of these. Actually, you know what, I do need a bookshelf. I need that for something else though. <laughs> all, the, all the blueprints, they're like taking up space. So I, I, need, I do need a bookshelf. All right, that should be good for now. And let's get this going. And that's not bad. Maybe I should have put the doorway right there. Eh, I don't. I don't know. I think it's fine. You walk right in. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine the way it is. Eh, whatever. Whatever. It's not a big deal. Okay. So let's get some of these veggies growing. So let's put. Where are the seeds here? So let me just throw a whole bunch. Let me just put all of the the rock carrot seeds on there. And then we're just going to fill this completely up with fertilizer here. And there we go. That is really good. Wait, did it just use all of the seeds? Oh my god, did it use all of the seeds? It just consumed all of the rock carrot seeds. What? I think I might have just wasted all of my rock carrot seeds. I might have just wasted them all. Oh, no, no, okay, it... It didn't let me put... Okay, it only let me put one in. All right, good, good. Okay, so, yeah, 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 when you, when you drag it, it only lets you put the one in. All right, I was like, where the hell the rock carrot seeds go? And they're all there. It just, nope, we don't want to put the egg in there. All right, let's throw all that in there. And what's the next one? So what did I just put in there? I put in the citronel, so I got to put in uh, some potatoes, save our roots. Put that in there and fill that up plenty and oh is that oh man oh yeah that's right because it's got 300 percent so it like dude it's it's already it's already like kind of a, a plant there i think that's i think that's better right like it goes from seeded to i think it goes from seeded to seedling so i think that was like a, a Pretty quick little boost right there. Uh, what is the last one? So I did the citronella, I did the rock carrot. I need to do the long grass. We gotta put some some corn in there, and throw that like that, and that one's all good. And then I might as well I might as well put some of the. Uh, you know what? Hold on. Can I? Let me put that in there, and then I wonder if I. I wonder if I just transfer all, if it's going to like... See, I don't know. I don't want it to put the seeds in there. Let's just... Boop. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, all right. I was afraid it was going to put the seeds in there, so that actually works a little bit better. So let's put... Let's put that in there. Transfer all. Boop. Yes. And I might as well put the last one over here. Transfer all. Yes. And I still have... A decent amount of fertilizer left, and that's just like from the uh, the ones that I I took the stuff off of. So this still, yeah. See, it's a seedling, and then that. Oh wait, why is it not? It doesn't like show up though. I don't know. It, it it's definitely faster though. It's definitely faster. All right. So all of these, so they're all irrigated, right? Yeah, 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 they should all be all irrigated. We got all all the veggies and stuff going. All right, let me get these kind of storage things up here uh maybe i should just like put them put them off to the side like right here just put oh you know what oh I, I can't i have to have the water running i'm probably gonna have to put pipes through the other side of here so maybe i should just put maybe i should just put them like right you know what? let's put them against the wall like right here i don't know how like how many am i gonna really need right like how many am i am i actually gonna need so let's just put it, like, actually, you know, let's start, let's start down here. Let's start down here and get it right up against that corner there. 
Hopefully it doesn't, like, bump through the wall. Alright. Is that good? That's mostly good. Good enough. Good enough. And then let's just put that right there. And then in this first one here, what I'll do is I'll just put all of the extra seeds. And then in the next one, I'll put all the extra fertilizer for right now. So just put that up there. And there we go. And then I can fill out the rest of that with fertilizer. And like, I'll have tons and tons of it on the beetles and stuff. So, oh, do I get, I wonder if, oh, you get the house buff in here too. Oh, that's cool. So you get the greenhouse effect and the housing buff. Cause like right out here, I just noticed I was like a little bit cold. So there you go. It's a little cold, find some warmth. And then you go in here. It should be nice and warm in here actually. Oh, I wonder, I wonder if the housing buff is better in the greenhouse like if you're actually warmer in the greenhouse so let's check that out so hypothermal insulation is 243 all right 243 and then let me come down here because there should be a housing buff right here as well and it's 243 okay so it is the same oh 239 wait was that other one was that other one different 239 239 hold on what is it in here is it okay so it's still 239 all right it's the same all right so it, it does treat it the same way even though it's you know it should be warmer quote unquote inside the greenhouse uh it still get the same housing buff effect so that's cool i now have a nice little farm up and going and i have thousands of spoiled meat like i have stacks and stacks of spoiled meat so once these narco berries get going i'll be able to get a ton of narcotics so that should go really really well it's about time it took me a little while i think it requires a lot of crystal to get these things up and running man a lot of crystal a lot of crystal but now that i've got it up and running i can start getting all the veggies and I can start taming some more of the, the herbivores and stuff a lot easier. And, of course, very important, I can make the kibble and stuff. So, not bad. Glad I finally got it up and running. Uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button. Share it with your friends. Remember, always, always blame the controller because it's never your fault.